All right, guys, here is the Inkscape version of uh, how you can import an image that you find and make it into an SVG to upload into Cricut Design Space. So here is my Inkscape screen. Over here on the right, you'll see this little looks like a piece of paper with an arrow going to the right. That's going to be our import. So we're going to click on that. And then we're going to find our file. And again, usually if it's something you're downloading, it'll be in your downloads. So you can go to that file. And then make sure that you have it selected. So here's our file that we're going to make into an SVG. I have it selected. You have a few ways to get to the trace option from here. You can right click. And here's our trace bitmap. Okay. You can come up here to path and go to your trace bitmap or if you're a weirdo like me you can use your keyboard shortcut which is alt shift b and it's going to open up your trace bitmap screen now i like my my trace bitmap screen to be big so i can really get a good view of what's going on you know it, yours might pop up smaller like this either way it works but the most important thing is right here this live preview Okay, I love to use that because I can make all my adjustments here. I can see exactly how it's going to turn out, and I don't have to worry about having to retrace it. So, after I tell it live preview, I click on remove background. That's because I want to make sure that it's transparent. Okay, and then I get rid of this smooth uh, because that applies some kind of blur thing you can see here, and I don't want anything like that so I always remove it now on something like this you can leave it at this default at the brightness cutoff and the threshold that it has sometimes if you want you know you can adjust this threshold everything's adjustable on here um, and if you adjust it too much you can always just hit reset and it goes back to how it started um, I personally like to use the colors and then for something like this I'll put in two Okay, and it's going to give me probably the same image it would give me with the brightness cutoff, but especially if I do have two colors or three colors, you know, and then you can always adjust it if, it if it's a lot of colors. But again, we're doing a simple black and white, so you want two scans. Um, now, here's the part that confused me when I first started using Inkscape. I would hit OK, and then I'd sit here, and I'd wait, and I'd wait, and I'd wait, and this screen would stay here. Well, that's because this screen doesn't go away unless you click the X button. So, to know if your trace is done, just keep an eye right here. You can see stop is grayed out, OK is clickable. Well, when I hit OK, it's only going to last about two seconds that OK will get grayed out, and then it's going to become clickable again. That's when I know that my trace is done. So, watch closely, it's going to be really fast. There it goes. I hit OK. The, the stop lit up for a second, and then it went back to OK. So I'm done tracing it. Now I'm going to hit my X button. But you're probably going to get over here, you're going to be like, um, where's my trace? Well, that's because it's directly on top of the original image. So what I do to make sure that I select the right thing is I go ahead and change the color. Because I don't want to accidentally delete the what I just got done creating. Now I can move it. Here's the old one. You cannot accidentally change the color on that, even if you want to, because that's an image. It's, it's not, you know, it's not the SVG file. So I can delete that because I am done. But then you might be like, hmm, I don't want this background here. No problem. Over here on the left, you have the three little dots. That is your edit paths by nodes. So I just click on that. I delete the outline area right here and it reverses everything and now I just have the image that I want to be able to cut. I lock my proportion. I make it as big or small as I want but you can see how clean of a cut we're going to get with this. Much cleaner than when we were doing it in Cricut Design Space which is why I really like using Inkscape instead. It doesn't have the jaggedness that we got when we did it in Cricut Design Space, so you don't have all that cleanup and stuff if you really wanted something to be smooth. 
So then I just resize it to take up my document area. And then it's going to be ready for me to save. So I'm just going to come over here, do a save as. And then you're just going to save it, whatever you want to save it as. And I leave it as an Inkscape SVG with the Inkscape SVG files. And then once you save it, you can go over, hold on a minute, let me see, to Cricut Design Space. And you can upload that file. Here it is. It's the SVG, so it's not going to give you the options to do all of the erase background and stuff like that because it's already a cuttable file for you. So then you just hit save. And then we will import that one. And again, once you're in here, you can resize it to whatever size that you're needing to and then go to cut it. So I hope that helped you guys out. Like I said, this is just our first basic tutorials of something that I notice a lot of people want to be able to do um, and struggle with doing. And yes, these are just plain black and white images. It is a little bit more challenging when you get into the different layered ones. But if you'll just play around with these, then you'll be able to become an expert at the others. Plus, I'll have a tutorial for you that probably next week. Thanks, guys. Now go back and craft.